and you don't know what to do. Your business, it went under, and you're coming down with flu. Your son is going steady, but his girlfriend's name is Frank. Your daughter made the evening news by holding up a bank. I know you, and you, and you, and you are out there just wanting to put a wig on, just like me. Uh-huh, I know it. And I know you're just waiting to have a good time. Because, honey, I know it. I know. Just put a little ball earring on, little bad sunglasses, and a big bad wig on, because it's good. It feels good. It works. It does. Morocco has the casbah, but it also has the stench. And this is very nice, but then it also has the French. It's much too cold in Sweden. It's much too hot in Rome. And if you go to London, well, you might as well stay home, because you the air is clean. And here the pumps are green, so come and be my guest, and let Conchita do the rest. Welcome to Havana, have a drink, have a double. Welcome to Havana, where the moon is full and round. Que viva la revolución. Yeah. Happy Wistock. This step was given to me by Carmen Miranda. And boy, was she glad to be rid of it. Our social stereotypes that have been programmed into us are just all wrong. If women can wear pants, now I can understand a man not wearing a bra because we really don't need a bra. But I think if a man wants to wear a little frock, a little dress, a little nice little loose summery outfit to go out because he's hot and doesn't feel like being combined, then I think he should be able to do that and not be called names or ridiculed. I told it is, it's one big fun. It's not anything bad what they do. And people take it like you say, and I say, oh my God. God, look, he's wearing a dress. My God, he's wearing heels. He's not bothering nobody, so let's do what the hell he wants to do. There's people riding the trains, getting mugged, getting robbed, getting killed, and people worry about a guy who's wearing a dress. Why? Let him wear that dress. He's not hurting nobody. Who's he hurting? I was pressing the drift shop store, and I saw this laying in a barrel, so I picked it up and I wore it. <laughs> Jackie! What? I got a good idea. What? We should go downstairs and get empanadas. And we could bring Lady Bunny empanada. That way we yeah. should get you She could give you longer on stage. You don't think? No. Brilliant. Are you on stage today? <laughs> it's not about you, honey. Me? I'm just kidding. Oh. No, I'm kidding with Lewis. Oh, because he's like... Don't well, well, frankly, in my I way. I don't have to brush it. I'm kidding. Just take your time. Hello. Can I get in there soon? Yeah. What is this? I'm shaking you my like, leg. You look like some TV movie of the week. Do you fucking mind, please? I've seen it all. Close the door, please. It used to be like, if you didn't do somebody, if you didn't imitate Patti LaBelle or someone, you weren't really a drag queen. I mean, somebody said, oh, you do drag. Oh, oh who do you do? I don't do anybody. I do myself and my character. Right. I changed all that. Oh, you changed all that. <laughs> totally kidding. Yeah, I'm excited because last year I didn't get to perform, and this year I've been given a whole minute, and I'm going to blow them away. These we had made exclusively for the store, and they're like a rubberized, a very heavy latex kind of rubber shell to them. Wow. They come in a very plain color, and we've been coloring them, spraying them, doing just about everything you can possibly think of to them. And it feels like you're in a helmet, doesn't it? Hello, hello. I feel like I'm in the ocean. <laughs> it's a seashell. It's okay. Cool. I have this to sell it. I totally bought it, really. <laughs> so, do you think I can get away with this tomorrow? I Doing a Billy Holiday? Good. 
Well, I think more sophisticated, maybe Bob would work for you. Yeah. This is the ultimate wig stock wig, man. And you know what I mean? It's like, I could think I could do grease and hang out and get wild. And then I feel like a real tough lesbian from the 50s. Hey, guys, let's go fuck. I mean, let's go take care of those guys right now. <laughs> she meant the first one. <laughs> again this year. She was a queen among queens, never bitchy, never evil, like so many of these girls. <laughs> and I'm sure she's very much missed by family and friends. And I hope we can put all of our thoughts up towards the sky and think of Donna right now. And come on out here, let's send her a wig up to the heavens and see. She might have been, I don't know if her family understood her properly and buried her in her wig in case they didn't. This goes out to you, Donna. We're thinking of you, honey. Let's crank it up. Let's work this. Come on. All right. Okay. Work me, baby. Look like a woman, never will look like a woman. You know, I think of myself. In the dark, as, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I think of myself as a, you know, butch drag queen, manly drag queen, whatever. I give what I got. You know, and I'm paying homage to strong black women. But women are a lot stronger. 